Today we're going to do section 7.1, Integral as Net Change. Let's look at example 1, Linear Motion Revisited. V of t equals 10 minus 2t is the velocity in meters per second of a particle moving along the x-axis when 0 is less than or equal to t, which is less than or equal to 9. Use analytic methods to a. Determine when the particle is moving to the right, to the left, and stopped. B. Find the particle's displacement for the given interval. C. If f of 0 equals 3, what is the particle's final position? And D. Find the total distance traveled by the particle. Let's go ahead and start with A. Determine when the particle is moving to the right, to the left, and stopped. So with A, first let's rewrite our equation. We have V of t equals 10 minus 2t, and this is from 0 is less than or equal to t, which is less than or equal to 9. Um, the particles stopped when our velocity is 0. So that's the first thing we need to do. We need to find when V of t equals 0. So that's when um, 10 minus 2t equals 0. And that would be 2t equals 10 or t equals 5. So this is when the particle is stopped. So now we need to find out when the particle is um, moving to the left and moving to the right. The particle is moving to the right when our velocity is greater than 0. So we can go ahead and just have a number line. We know it's stopped at 5. We have 0 here, 9 here. When I choose a number between 0 and 5, so I'm just going to choose 1, and I plug it into my velocity, I get a positive number. When I choose a number between 5 and 9, I'm just going to choose 6, I get a negative number. So the particles move to the right when the velocity is positive, to the left when the velocity is negative. So from 0 to 5, V of t is greater than 0. Um, so the particle is moving to the right when t is less than 5. Instead of less than 5, we'll say when t is between 0 and 5. And then from 5 to 9, v of t is less than 0, so the particle is moving to the left when t is between 5 and 9. So with b, find the particle's displacement for the given interval. In order to find the displacement, um, it would be the antiderivative of v of t. from 0 to 9, which would be 10t minus t squared from 0 to 9, and that would be 90 minus 81, which equals 9 meters. So the particle's displacement was 9 meters. For C, if f of 0 equals 3, what is the particle's final position? So we need to find s of, so with this would be s of 0 plus 0 to 9 v of t dt, which would be 3 plus 9, which equals 12 meters right of the origin.
and then D. Find the total distance traveled by the particle. So the total distance would be um, the absolute value of this. So we know that um, it's moving to the right from 0 to 5. So from 0 to 5, we'd find B of T dt minus um, from 5 to 9, v of t dt because we'd have minus a negative which would give us a positive and this would be 25 minus negative 16 which equals 41 meters is how far the particle traveled looking at example two from 1970 to 1980, the rate of potato consumption in a particular country was C of T equals 2.2 plus 1.1 to the T millions of bushels per year, with T being the years since the beginning of 1970. How many bushels were consumed from the beginning of 1972 to the end of 1975? So the first thing um, I want to talk about, the end of 1975, that's about the beginning of 1976, okay? And the other thing we need to remember um, from our antiderivatives, A of U du equals A um, to the U all over the natural log of A. So that's something that we need to remember. So here, if we want to find um, how many bushels were consumed from the beginning of 1972 to the end of 1975. This would be our antiderivative. And remember, this is from the beginning of 1970. So we're not using 1972 to 1975. And remember, it's all the way to the end of 1975. So that's the beginning of 1976. And it's the years from 1970. So this would be from 2 to 6 of CT. So of 2.2 plus 1.1 to the T DT. This ends up equaling 2.2t plus 1.1 to the t all over the natural log of 1.1. And this is from 2 to 6. We're going to plug 6 in, then 2 in. So we'd have 2.2 times 6 plus 1.1 to the 6 all over the natural log of 1.1. minus 2.2 times 2 plus 1.1 to the second all over the natural log of 1.1. And that would be about 14,692 bushels. Let's look at our first quick quiz for 6.5 or for 7.1. So here we have a graph and this graph um, tells us a bird tries to hop across a branch at time t equals zero. The velocity v of the bird at time t from zero to 11 is given by the function whose graph is shown above. So the first question is, um, what at what time does the bird change direction? So this is the graph shown above. Using this, at what time does the bird change direction? So my question to you is, at what time does the bird change direction? So this, you're just using the graph to look at this. The bird change, changes direction when the velocity goes from positive to negative or negative to positive, and that is right here. 
and looking at our axis, that's at time equals 7. So t equals 7. So our answer for this one should have been C. Next question using the same graph. Um, which of the following is the best estimate of the total distance the bird travels from t equals 0 to t equals 11? So from t equals 0 to t equals 11. So that means you, to find the total distance, you can use in this graph, we're just going to find the area. And here you have a trapezoid, here you have a triangle. That's my hint to try to find the answer to this one. So the area of the trapezoid would have been 7 plus 2 divided by 2 times 6 plus, um, mathematically you do the absolute value since it would be negative if we're using our values, um, 1 half times 4 times negative 3, and that gives us 27 plus 6, which equals 33. So uh, the correct answer would have been E, 33. Let's look at example three. Water leaks from a tank at a rate. Um, le we're missing an equation there, so go ahead and put that in. At a rate of 2 plus 5T liter per hour. where T is the number of hours after 7 a.m. How much water is lost between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m.? So it's hours since 7 a.m. So this would be T equals 2 and T equals 4. And how much water is lost would just be the antiderivative of that. So um, the antiderivative from 2 to 4 of 2 plus 5T dt. The antiderivative of 2 is 2T plus 5t squared all over 2, and this is from 2 to 4. This would be, when I plug 4 in, I get 4 plus 16 times 4 divided by 2, so that would be 40, minus, plug 2 in, I get 4, um, plus 10. This would be 34, I believe is the correct answer liters of water lost. And hopefully you caught my mistake. That's supposed to be an eight, not a four. In example four, a particle has a velocity v of t equals t cubed minus 10t squared plus 2t, 24t meters per second. Compute the following. Displacement over the time period from zero to six and the total distance traveled from zero to six. So to find my displacement, it would be the antiderivative of the velocity over that time. So a would be from zero to six of v of t dt. And that would be t to the fourth over four minus 10t cubed over three plus 24t squared all over two. And this is from zero to six. And that would be 36 meters. And then B, if I want to find the total distance traveled from zero to six, the first thing I need to do is figure out where it changes direction. Um, so that's where I need to find out where it stopped and then check my number line. So with my velocity equation, I need to set V of T equal to zero. So I would have um, T cubed minus 10T squared plus 24T. equal to zero. Factor t out first, 
you're left with t squared minus 10t plus 24 equals 0. Go ahead, factor again, and you have t minus 4 and t minus 6 because 4 times 6 is 24. Negative 4 plus negative 6 is 10. So I'd have t equals 0, t equals 4, t equals 6. Draw a quick number line. And we only need to do this between 0 and 6. So we know that if I choose a number, let's choose 1, plug it into the velocity. When I plug 1 into my velocity, I get positive. When I plug for example, 5 into my velocity, I would get negative. So to find the total distance traveled, it would be um, the absolute value of v of t dt. And here, from 0 to 4 is positive, so it would be from 0 to 4 of v of t dt minus, and we know it's negative, so that double negative would make that positive, from 4 to 6 of v of t dt. This would then equal 128 over 3 minus negative 20 over 3 and that would be 148 over 3 meters is how far the total distance that this particle traveled.